molar mass is defined as the mass in grams of one mole of a substance. The units of molar mass are grams per mole. How to find the molar mass of a compound? We have three steps to follow. First, use the chemical formula to determine the number of each type of atom present in the compound. Second, multiply the atomic weight of each element by the number of atoms of that element present in the compound. Third, add it all together and put units of grams per mole after the number. Let's have an example. Find the molar mass of sodium carbonate. First, again, use the chemical formula to determine the number of each type of atom present in the compound. The sodium carbonate we have in A2CO3. And then, multiply the atomic weight of each element by the number of atoms of that element present in the compound. In the compound, we have two atoms of sodium, one atom of carbon, three atoms of oxygen, and then we are going to multiply it by each atomic weight as you can see in the periodic table. So sodium has 23 grams, carbon 12 grams, and oxygen is 16 grams. And then, based on rule number 2, we are going to multiply it by the number of atoms. So 2 times 23 is 46. 1 times 12 is 12. Then 3 times 16 is 48. After that, rule number 3, add it all together and put units of grams per mole after the number. So, 46 plus 12 plus 48 is equal to 106 grams per mole. In other words, the molar mass of sodium carbonate is 106 grams per mole. Got it? Very good. Now, Let's have our next example. What is the molar mass of calcium nitrate? So, let's follow the three steps. First, use the chemical formula to determine the number of each type of atom present in the compound. The chemical formula for our calcium nitrate is CaNO3 parenthesis 2. Based in the formula, we can see that we have one atom of calcium, two atoms of nitrogen, and six atoms of oxygen. Then step two, multiply the atomic weight of each element by the number of atoms of that element present in the compound. Here, we are going to use a periodic table for us to identify what is the atomic weight of each element? Just like for example, calcium. In the predictable, calcium has 40.1 grams. Nitrogen, 14.0 grams. Oxygen, 16.0 grams. Now, let's multiply the atomic weight of each element by the number of atoms. So, we have... 1 times 40.1 is equal to 40.1. 2 times 14.0 is equal to 28. 6 times 16.0 is equal to 96.0. After that, we can apply now rule number 3. Add it all together and put units of grams per mole after the number. So, 40.1 plus 20.0 plus 96.0 is equal to 164.1 grams per mole of calcium nitrate. Got it? Very good. Now let's have our next example. Find the molar mass of lead to dichromate or plumbus dichromate. We have the formula Pb Cr2O7 parenthesis 2. Now, 
let's follow the three steps. First, again, use the chemical formula to determine the number of each type of atom present in the compound. As you can see, we have one atom of lead, four atoms of chromium, 14 atoms of oxygen. Then, after that, follow step 2. Multiply the atomic weight of each element by the number of atoms of that element present in the compound. Again, in step 2, we're going to use periodic table for us to see and identify what is the atomic weight of each element. For lead, we have 207.2. Chromium, we have 52.0 grams. Oxygen, we have 16 grams. Now, let's multiply the atomic weight to the number of atoms. For lead, 1 times 207.2 is equals to 207.2. For chromium, 4 times 52 is equal to 208. For oxygen, we have 14 atoms of oxygen multiplied by each atomic weight, which is 16, so we have 224.0 grams. After that, rule number 3, add it all together and put units of grams per mole after the number. Therefore, 207.2 plus 208. 8.0 plus 224.0 then we can have the molar weight or the molar mass of lead to dichromate or plumbus dichromate which is 639.2 grams per mole got it very good